Welcome back. Welcome. Snack attack. Snack attack. Yeah, we really got to work on that. There's no organization to this. No, never. Because that's the way we live our lives. And you know what? We're going to get straight into it today. Uh, we are going to be reviewing Sour Jacks of the watermelon sour mm. variety. We're going to be also checking out its cousin, Wildberry Wild Sour Berry. Jack. Mm -mm. And then we're also going to be checking out... Mm -mm. <laughs> no. No, not those. Uh, we're also going to be checking out Trolley Sour... Crunchy Sour. Crunch Crawlers. Sour Crunchy Crawlers. I'm really looking forward to these. Yeah. Do you want to save those for last? Is that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, All right. that's the plan here. So, want to kick us off? I feel like, can we start with... Stop it. The cats, cats are trying to murder each other. Stop they that. Went, they want in on this. Can we start with the wild berry, though? Because I feel like yeah. generic berry will be trumped by... A wild berry. Watermelon. There are also mm. lemonade and sour green apple available. Not featured today, but still plenty of sugar to go around. Just Don't be snooping on the other ones. I should have seen where this one was made because we've Why had a lot of German and Turkish. And just, it's really weird to find that a lot of candies not made in the U.S. I figured our teeth well, would be used to it. Your product is Spain. That's so interesting. to know where is that? Underneath your thumb, product oh, is Spain. But distributed from New Jersey. Thanks, New Jersey. Wildberry Sour Jacks. I am unfamiliar with the Sour Jacks brand. That's a mind. Oh, it smells great. Ooh. Yeah, smell that. I forgot oh. these were sour until I read the words mouth puckering and immediately started salivating. It's not like it said Sour Jacks in the <laughs> label there, folks. Listen here, you can go get wrecked, please. I'm going to get wrecked on a Sour Jack Ooh. Wildberry. Um, at first glance, it's got a purple rind, a nice white. little stratified layers. Called. We talked about it. The pith. Our, the pith, thank the you. The pith is represented here. If you're, if you're a frequent viewer, you may have heard my discussion of the pith, which is the fleshy white inside the rind, not quite the fruit section, represented here by this little white strata in the middle. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Hmm. So if the... Hmm. What was that noise about? If the sour is supposed to be from the covering on the outside. Is it? It's not too sour. But then as soon as I said that, I bit into it. It's almost a little sour... Like a sour jelly. I feel like the different layers have different textures. So it's probably hard to see on camera. The pink part has like that translucent gummy situation going on. But this is almost like the bottom of the Haribo frogs. You're right. And it's got that foamier texture to it. Because like I initially mm. bit into it and it was yeah. tough. Or like more firm than I anticipated. But once I got past that layer... These are really good. Yeah? Yeah, the top part's really tough. The pink part. And that's where it's, it's sour, too. Yeah? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I don't really get any sour from that. Okay, no, it's not from that. A little bit from the sugar, but... Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, we have to learn, too. Our last video had a lot of crinkling in it. Oh, sorry about that. We're going to crinkle these off camera. To the best of my ability. And move on to the watermelons. This is really good. Yeah? I'm looking forward to this. What do you think of the berry flavor itself? To me, that is very generic berry fruit snack whatever, you know? I thought it was... Very good. All day. All day with this. What I have to live with. 
watermelon, same situation, slightly translucent. I'm guessing the same this one smells gummy good. texture. Does it? Can you smell the bag? Wow. Okay, so the bag really smells like watermelon. Individually? Yeah. Kind of smells much. like a... Make sure it's not my finger. Too much. <laughs> Gross. No, it's definitely... It smells <laughs> like a sock. <laughs> like a slightly dirty sock. Mm -mm. I'm going to eat it, so... No sour. Or at least not at first. Those taste like the Sour Patch watermelons. You know? Actually, almost the flavor stronger. is almost the same. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no sour presented. Mm -mm. Not really sour at all. The wild berry were a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, not to the extent that, like, Sour Patch sometimes... Hey! Sorry, cat difficulties. Put it out. Um, not to the extent that Sour Patch or Sour Skittles can really, like, burn a hole in your tongue sometimes. Yeah, these are like a one mm -hmm. on the sour scale. Yeah. Entry level sourness mm -hmm. situation. But pretty good. Oh, yeah, I would totally I do eat think those I all prefer... day. Now, do you prefer the watermelon to the wild berry? I think the wild berry won that. Really? Yeah, I could eat those. That's never the right answer. I mean, you know that I like watermelon flavored stuff. I know, which is why it's never the right answer that generic berry wins out. I mean, sour, your, sour jacks. That's I would, your life, man. They would go in the eat again pile, like definitely. Uh, kudos, sour jacks. We're gonna take a moment to shout out our sponsors, Castle Clan, who bring us sour jacks, and are also bringing us trolley. Watch the crinkle. Watch it. I'm gonna listen for it. He likes it. All right, I'm over this bit. Thank you. Ooh. But there are different oh. flavors in here. Too. <laughs> so this one kind of got pulled off. The pink one is strawberry on the outside with watermelon or watermelon on the inside. Just smell that process. Do I want to? Quick. Oh. Like immediately fruity processed sugar. Like... Boom. In the face. It's like snorting pixie sticks, except you're not actually it doesn't snorting even, them. It doesn't even smell like sugar. I don't know what I would classify that as. That's like insanely processed sugar. Like, like if you had a room full of like cocaine white sugar, <laughs> that's like, that's why I say it smells like pixie things. sticks. <laughs> I don't know. Look. I don't think that's how you're supposed to be Have that. ingesting sugar. This is what a lime people? on the outside, cherry on the inside. Little squiggle. Little it's squiggle? A, it's a tilde. <laughs> oh no, El Nino is coming. We can properly label it. Huh. Hmm. The flavor is good. I don't dig the texture. It's a little weird. More sour than the Sour Jacks. Flavor profile oh, yeah. yep. is different. Yep. There it is. Mm. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't fit together. You know? Like the flavor is good and on par. Maybe you're supposed to suck on these? But then the crunchy feature is defeated. It's no longer crunchy, you know? The crunch is one of its marketable aspects. So if you're not chewing it. So let me ask you this. When you had this, did it make you say anything? I don't know. Check the tape. I said something. If we roll back the tape, did she say, I got the crunchy munchies? No. He's not living up to their promise in which <clears throat> they'll make you say They are sour. Yeah. I got the crunchy munchies. I'm okay. gonna i I'm gonna split the other two with you if that's okay. I mean there's something about so it's it's like a candy coated 
texture situation, like how a Skittle or something like that would be, but it's a lot thicker. You know, it's almost like if you double dipped a Skittle. Yeah. Ugh. I like it. All you, man. What are the blue ones? Raspberry on the outside, orange on the inside. Hmm. Can you distinguish the flavors? I can tell it's orange. You cannot tell you that was blue raspberry, though. Hmm. So, the crust of these... The crust. It's very similar to if you ever got, like, a 50-cent bubble gum from a dispensing thing. I know, they don't have these anymore. But back in the old days... Oh, where it has, like, the slide that it has to go yeah, down? Yeah, but not like a quarter one, a 50-cent one, a slightly oh. larger oh. one. Because those have usually sat in there a little while. Mm. And so they've gotten a little <laughs> bit hard on the outside, and so... I feel like these are still thicker, the shell of them. Maybe. You know? The consistency of the bite is similar. Ooh. Here you go. That's the watermelon one. That's the money. So I'm going to suck on this one to see if I can taste a difference in the flavor. I like these. This is a good night. Nope. What's weird about these is that they don't really dissolve. You know? Like how with the Skittle, if it mm -hmm. sits in your mouth for 10 seconds, you can feel it kind of start to go. These don't do that unless you, like, crunch them apart. And even then, they don't feel like they dissolve. Yeah. I'm also salivating a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Fun for the novelty. It is different. I would get them to entertain someone who mm. likes candy. So, like... Oh, all the sours on the inside. If I had a friend... Who I know likes different candies and like they're the sort of person that wants a whatchamacallit, I would probably get this for them. That's who these are for. <laughs> so yeah, sour levels a little bit buff the sour jacks. Mm. Maybe they should have called these sour jack crunchy crawlers. But they're not sour jack. Different company, different brand. Trolley, baby. Choo choo. The trolley problem. Yeah. I'm going to keep eating them. All you. So, are those now your favorite? Oh, no. No. Still the wild berry. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's the novelty of these that I enjoy. Yeah, and out of the flavors, the watermelon lime? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or what was it? Mm -hmm. Strawberry watermelon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're a little sour, though. They're tart. I think that one is a little more you. sour than the others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lime cherry. Makes sense. Does make sense. I think watermelon's my pick. They are not quite so sour, which is not necessarily a feature I prize in my candies or desserts. Um, you prefer like cakes. It's hard to go. Oh man, I really do. Baked goods, mm -hmm. candies. And the ice cream sometimes. I mean, we both go ice cream. Yeah. I mean, sometimes. I'll eat anything if it has sugar in it, which is so sad. I'm a brownie sort of lady. Brownie cake, baked goods. It's um, like nerd's rope on the inside. Hmm. Gummier, though. It's very reminiscent of a nerd's rope. Yeah? Yeah. Like a very poorly done nerd's rope. <laughs> if it was just a shield of nerds. Mm-hmm. That's how you win the war. Thanks for tuning in. Did you do your homework? What's up next? Tune in next time. For something else. That is probably be very similar. Uh, but we are coming close to the Thanksgiving special. Mm, Tune in for that. Not excited. Donate to our Patreon if you'd like us to uh, do gravy shots of uh, gravy flavored uh, jelly beans. Uh, uh, uh. We mash them all up with actual mashed potatoes, a little bit of gravy. They're not jelly beans. Where are you getting gravy jelly beans from? No! It's not going to happen. We don't have those. They're not in the budget. We don't have a budget. This is it. This is why there are no edits. <laughs> Tune in next time for something that is not mashed potatoes, nor gravy jelly beans, nor shots of gravy. That's not... 
That's not a thing. That's a you thing. You can do that all day. I'll be the camera crew. Thank you. Snack attack out. <laughs>